Hey guys and welcome back. Um, there was a spooky ghoul on top of this weird booth thing. <laughs> uh, and it actually looks like there's treasure up there and a little bridge that leads to that way. Okay, cool. So we have something we can, um, we can try to explore. I think I looked around inside here pretty good, except I missed whatever this is, some kind of advertisement. The October Classic, Sunday, October 31st, 2077, at East City Downs, presented by Fallon's Department Stores, in association with the Boston Jockey Club. Three world-class races with a total purse of $450,000. Wow, that's kind of fun. I wonder if we could go there and steal the purse money, because obviously those races never actually happen. So uh, maybe that's something we can investigate. That could be pretty cool. Oh, wow, the map updated. So we can actually see if maybe we can know where this is. It's probably to the east because it is called East City Downs, isn't it? No, it isn't. That says Easy City Downs. <laughs> okay. Um, well, there's so much coastline we can explore, but uh, that's probably stuff for us to think about later. I'm just kind of looking forward to it, especially after having just discovered a new map location. But for now, we need to look around Cambridge more. So there's all of these dead raiders, and I'm guessing most of them got taken out by the ghouls, but probably the Brotherhood had something to do with some of these maybe on their way in to fortify the police station that's what i would assume i'm not really not really sure but it couldn't have all been ghouls could it i mean i guess it could have it's kind of lots of ghouls around what is that is that him pushing a, a can around codsworth what are you doing buddy what are you doing oh did you hit this I'll just take it down then. There you go. No more problem. Over here is a locked suitcase that we can get into very, very easily. I say as I then fail to get into it. Come on. There we go. See? Pretty easy. Uh, more metal stuff. It's all lightweight, so I'll take it. And I should probably consider wearing it <laughs> at some point. There's a short hunting rifle in that bag and a sensor module and I'm just gonna leave them for now but wow look we can go all the way up here and uh, look around more I was actually just trying to go right there where that dead guy is but there's even more dead guys up here how neat what is a toll schedule is it anything important were the raiders making people pay tolls is that something we can actually look at? And we do need to go back to that police station. So we'll do that in a bit. Here's the toll schedule. What is this? New tolls. 10 caps for farmers and children. 30 caps for mercs. 50 caps for traders. 80 caps for wagons. 200 caps for minutemen. Don't tangle with gunners or the freaks in power armor. Let them through, but keep an eye on them. Shoot sense on sight. Oh, okay. Interesting stuff. Well, we don't need the pit boy light to be on anymore, do we? I'll turn that off. Let's check this guy. Hello. He's just uh, another random raider dude. Oh, whoa. Were those fusion cores? No way, no way. I guess they probably show up in ammo, don't they? Yeah! Wow! Okay, cool! We have so many of those at this point. Well, let's go back upstairs and see if this leads anywhere interesting when we go that way. And there's just all kinds of trash and stuff. A sequin dress? Are you for realsies? I'm into it. Okay. Well, it doesn't really look like there's anything over there to be interested in, so I probably don't need to try to do that, and I failed trying to do it anyway, so it's all good. Oh, wait a minute. I thought <laughs> I thought I was in the back rooms or something. Okay, <laughs> let's go over this way. Yeah, because I want to check this upper floor before we go back 
down, maybe. The desks are empty. There's burnt magazines on top of this one. Nothing in the other ones. A subway token. I don't know if we can use that for anything, but maybe I'll take it with us for right now. Oh, cool! A safe, but... Don't think I can pick this. We cannot open it. So I will not try. Ooh! You can see the police station courtyard from here. Cool! It would have been really neat if I came this way and then I saw, like, the, the ghoul fight happening out this little window with a, a nice vantage point of it. It would have been a, a nice moment, but... Uh, Alas, it did not happen that way. It was not meant to be. Wow, there's so many cigarettes left in here. Is there anything else in here interesting? Oh, that's a makeshift bomb. I'm I'm glad I didn't step on it. It is your world, eh? Ah, <laughs> uh, Codsworth, you're so funny. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna leave the food and stuff. I actually probably should get rid of some food in our inventory because we have like a ton of it. Um. And I'll do, I'll do that later. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Let's see if we can get into the courtyard from here. I don't think we can. But uh, never give up. Always believe in yourself. Because we did, in fact, succeed. So let's go inside and uh, talk to our other friends. I'm wondering if Dance is going to come back here or if he's still going to hang up um, near the... Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Oh, yeah, he's here. Sir, mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Had some help from our new friend. That's me! I offered her a place on our team, but I'm not sure she's willing to accept. In the meantime, she's welcome to take shelter here, as long as she doesn't get in our way. Oh, don't worry, I won't get in the way. I'm basically still never a place in the for way. You in the Brotherhood, if you want it. Thank you! I really do appreciate it. Um, but I, I would like a little more time. I still want to think about it. Suit yourself. Oh, you know curse. Find us when you're ready to make a decision. <laughs> what? Was that Codsworth? It was. What are you doing, you silly guy? Okay. What's the um, Don't have the guts to join up? Why are you so mean all the time, Reese? Should reconsider joining the Brotherhood Steel. Joining the Brotherhood, the brotherhood is too much for you. We Maybe need you can find like work you. on one of the local farms. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood. If you want it. I know. I just, I just, I just want to think about it a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Want to think about I it. Still want to think about it. Suit yourself. Wait, you why'd she to turn around? You're ready to make a decision. If you don't join the Brotherhood of Steel, you're throwing away a golden opportunity. Well, I knew you would Girl, say that, Halen, because uh, our heads in power armor. You know, scribe. Paladin Dance is one hell of a squad leader. I don't know what we'd do without him. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood. Okay, well, I just, I, I probably do want to join the Brotherhood, if I'm being honest with you, but I want to, to give it a minute. You know, like, we're very fresh. We're very new in the, uh, in the wasteland out here. I'd like to at least meet more people and see more opportunities I before I, uh, do that. So here is Gladius's personal you, terminal, I and I don't believe I've read this yet. I haven't. And hopefully they don't mind if I do, because this apparently is Brotherhood of Steel stuff. So this is Gladius' personal terminal. And it says, Recon Squad Gladius Orders. So is that this team? Are they called Gladius? Recon Squad Gladius's current orders are as follows. Proceed to the area designated as the Commonwealth to perform a standard long-range recon operation in LRRO for short. Report any unusual activity using standard long-range communicators to Scabbard. Extraction time undetermined. Paladin Dance, DN-407P. Okay. Yeah, so these are the, the Gladius guys. All right. We can read his personal logs. I'm sure he won't care. <laughs> Just like when Halen didn't mind that I was listening to her diary out loud. No problem, right? So, the first entry... After several months, my squad has just crossed the border and entered into the Commonwealth. We've chosen to immediately search the Boston region with the intention of finding a secure building to use as our recon headquarters. Soon after, my squad was ambushed by raiders. Oh, yeah, so they did fight the raiders. Um, but we read that toll log and it said not to mess with the guys in power armor so did they learn that from having to deal with pallet and vance and that toll list was written up after this happened that's my interpretation of the events but anyway uh knight kian 
It's either Keen or Kian. I'm gonna go with Keen. Ke Keen. Kian. Kian. Alright, it's Keen. Night Keen's power armor was destroyed. And we lost some of our supplies. Fortunately, we were able to repel the attack and continue with our mission. Okay. Entry number two. We've discovered a secure building in Cambridge that appears to be a former police station. We were able to clear the building and recover a good deal of supplies and ammunition from pre-war caches inside. According to Scribe Halen, this location is structurally sound and highly defensible. I've decided to establish our headquarters here for the time being. And in tree three, after Halen identified the Corvega factory in Lexington as a possible site containing viable pre-war technology, we initiated a sweep and retrieve operation. I had Dawes do a site survey and he discovered that it was being held by a large force of raiders. I gave the go ahead and we attempted a breach. Wow, interesting. Okay, I didn't see necessarily any evidence of this, but I wasn't really looking for it at the time. Um, so they tried to breach the Corvega factory. Wow. As we approached, our squad was hit with gunfire. Knight Warwick was wounded, so I decided to fall back to Cambridge. During our retreat, Knight Brack stepped on a landmine. Scribe Halen attempted to treat him, but Brack succumbed to his wounds and died. Let it be noted for the record that Halen is to be commended for her efforts. And that's the end. We actually can't go to a second page. Wow, that's a rough entry for number three. Number four, what's up? It's been two days since our failed operation at Corvega, and I'm sad to report that Knight Warwick has died. His gunshot wounds had left him paralyzed and internally bleeding. Dang, they've had a rough go at this, haven't they? Scribe Halen informed me that he was suffering and had less than a 5% chance of recovery, so I authorized her to inject him with an overdose of painkiller and to put him to rest. I'd once again like to commend Scribe Halen for her efforts in keeping Warwick alive and following my final orders without question. Entry 5. We sustained another casualty today at Grid Reference A113. This area contains the ruins of Boston International Airport in Fort Strong. I wonder if it's going to put those on my map because I would kind of like to be able to visit these places. The airport was almost completely abandoned, but Fort Strong turned out to be infested by super mutants. Oh, dang. We were hoping to resupply at the armory there, but Knight Sergeant Dawes was killed. This is the second location I've had to order a retreat from since we arrived and the third member of my team to die. I recommend a complete bombardment of this location in the future. Well, I can do that for you probably. Entry number six. Scribe Halen has been picking up unusual energy readings on her instruments. She claims that they are on an extreme high band spectrum frequency, which makes it highly unlikely to be pre-war in origin. The readings are also highly sporadic, only appearing for very short amounts of time and in very specific locations. The decay on these signals is severe, and they seem to disappear off Halen's instruments after several hours. We don't have the equipment necessary to track these readings, so we're attempting to use triangulation to discover their point of origin. Oh, that sounds so cool. I bet if I joined them, they could give me quests relating to this. Man, every every day is a struggle not to just immediately join the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. <laughs> We've been attempting to contact Scabbard with the energy readings Halen has collected, but the police station's high gain antenna was damaged by a super mutant rocket attack, and we cannot transmit the data. Halen is attempting to repair the antenna, but she isn't certain that we have the parts we need at this time. And then that's where we came in, and we gave them what they needed. Now everything is fine. Let's check on personnel status. Oh, it's just going to tell us about everybody. Okay, let's check on Dawes first. Night Sergeant Dawes. And then there's his registration number, and he was deceased. I wonder if we can find uh, these people, because he died... From the super mutants. Meanwhile, Keen died here, and so did Warwick. Is there anything interesting about uh, Reese or Halen? OK. 
Okay. Well, I'll just when leave that alone. I said, take it easy. That means no long range patrols or recon sweeps until further notice. Understood, Knight? Because I looked all around in here and uh, I don't remember seeing the ones who passed. Maybe they buried them outside somewhere? I haven't really looked around outside for them, so I'll, I'll check out here. Um, maybe we can find those super mutants and deal with them, and then these guys will be so happy. But then again, if I do want to join them, that might be uh, a quest we do later. And he said he wanted them to be bombarded, so assuming that the transmitter we gave them is working well, they might... Do that. You know what I mean? Maybe they really will do a bombardment and then I don't need to deal with it myself. Oh, look, a cap stash. Cool. And there's a power armor station here. Oh, hi, <laughs> Godsworth. Okay. Kind of like to, um, to use power armor. I don't really want to go back and get mine. Maybe we'll find another one somewhere. Super spooky out here. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of trying to head out back of the place because I thought if they were gonna maybe bury their members somewhere they'd be out here. Just kind of wanted to pay some respects, you know. Doesn't seem to be a thing, though. I bet we can find Dawes. I, I bet we can find Dawes. Sorry, that flag's, like, freaking me out. Flapping over there the way it is. Okay. Well, there's some interesting stuff over by the water there. Uh, I saw it whenever we were walking up that way with dance. And, um... I'm gonna approach with caution. What? what? Oh, dang. There they are. There's the boys. Oh, they're gonna see me. They're gonna see me. Let's be very sneaky quiet. Very, very sneaky quiet. Codsworth is like pushing me. Okay, we're hidden again. Awesome. Ooh, okay. I was kind of hoping I could get the drop on them a bit. All right. It's gonna be fun. Guess what? Caltrips. Get them. That did nothing. <laughs> I'm determined. For the caltrips to get used. Determined, I tell you. Whoa, look at him. He's got a star. What a fancy man. Holy cow. Okay, we need to back up from this guy, probably. Ooh. All right, how do I want to handle this? Maybe this way? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> wow, he is very dangerous. He is very dangerous. Uh, well, I was saying earlier that I have just tons of food. All around. So I'll let some of that heal me up. Oh boy. I was gonna give some AP back as well, okay. Let's see if I can just avoid the uh, bullets long enough to be healed. And I can, no problem. Well, kind of a problem, especially if you don't have any shots loaded. That's a big problem. Didn't even step on my caltrips. Look at this guy. So cool. So that guy's legendary. What's up, legendary? He's got a prisoner's leather chest piece. That's poison resistance. Well, I just, I feel like that's not actually that good. Maybe it's pretty good. I don't know. Okay. Let's loot the other guy. I think Codsworth killed him over here. Maybe, is that him? Is that part of him? There he is. He is a board, I don't want that. So is this it? No, that's the Beantown Brewery. What a funny name. So were they coming from the brewery or were they just patrolling? I'm not sure. Um, really not sure. But there's a guy down here. Hey man, he's a raider. He's got some stuff. Um, he's got 
Uh, ported, calibrated, powerful pipe pistol. Is that pretty good? I mean, it sounded like it might be pretty good. I mean, it's okay. We have tons of ammo for it. Oh, look, there it is. Righteous authority. It's gonna take all of my willpower not to um, forsake the baseball bat, right? <laughs> strong. Oh, we can't open that. That's too bad. Okay, let's go back to the location over here we were actually trying to investigate. It's right over here. And I don't see any hostile markers, so maybe it's pretty friendly, but I do see radiation. I'm kind of expecting ghouls. Hello. No way I can pick this. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I not go in the window or something? Won't be able to pick this. Oh, lame. And I'm getting so super radiated. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's go away from that. Uh, something cool I've noticed is we can go to stats and we can just kind of hit R. You see? So we don't need to go hunt for it every single time. But I probably will still do that sometimes. I'm a bit used to it. Okay. Well, that's the location for later. Uh, we did hit level 10. I could look at the perk list. And that's pickpocket. We don't want that. But down here is locksmith. And that only needs perception of four, so I could, I could put some points into perception. And I could uh, try to try to take that if I wanted to. We have two right now. Um, I don't regret putting them into strength and endurance, though. I think that's pretty good. Level ten also means we could take strong back one more time. And I might, I might, I might just do that actually. Because we can't take any more of our mysterious stranger babe until 22. So we'll just hang out this way. Check it out. This billboard's down. I kind of want to climb on it. Cool. Oh, cool. Is this red rocket? Yeah, it is. <laughs> cool. I like it. I like that hill over there. I want to go on that hill. Whoa, hi! Hello, hi! You're not trying to kill me right away. Wait, are you that uh, caravan guard that, that got away? Are you the one that made it out? Oh! Hi! Ness! <laughs> hey, sister. You looking to earn some caps? What's the job? What's the job? I've got a lead on a crash site. Big old jet. That much scrap could be worth a lot to the right buyer. Trouble is, some raiders are holed up in it. Help me run them off, and I'll give you a cut of the profit. How about 50 caps? Sound fair? I don't trust you, but that sounds pretty fair. Come on, make it worth my time. Look, there are other oh. out there. You going to take the job or not? Why did Codsworth dislike that? Man! How many raiders? Not sure. I stopped counting when they started shooting. Maybe eight or ten? Now are you in or not? I don't really trust her, but this sounds fun. I'm in. All right. There's a little ridge just south of the crash site. Meet me there, and we'll take them on together. <laughs> okay, cool. Where's the, where's the crash site? Oh, this looks so fun, guys. Where is that? Where's that at? The crash site. I I don't know where that that is. These are all the places we discovered up north. Crash site. Where's the crash site? It's not somewhere in Cambridge, is it? No, we just have the police station and the college square. Do I need to follow her? Ness, where are we going? Ness? See you at the crash site. Where? Is she on her way? Okay, maybe if we turn on that quest. Is, I'm assuming it is a quest. Is it a quest? Yeah, it's a miscellaneous quest. The crash site. Oh, wow. Wee! Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, we're doing this. I need to go back to Ten Pines anyway to tell that lady settler 
that everything's good and she's totally uh, Gucci to live her life now, but um, I mean, you know, I've had other interesting things on my mind since Poor Vega, yeah? So look at this piece of trash. I'm assuming that's a piece of trash. Is this a piece of trash? It looks like the junk jet, like it's it's just it's just trash laying around. I guess that's part of a robot. And we've discovered this here place. Shall we uh, go in it? Should we go in it? I kind of want to go do Ness's crash site business. But this is interesting to me too. Cambridge Polymer Labs. Okay, yeah, we're going in here. This sounds like it could be a fun adventure. All right, guys, what do you think we're gonna find in the Polymer Labs? I'm thinking we're gonna find ghouls and robots and apparently a super cute interior. Wow, Welcome to nice. The Cambridge Polymer Labs. Oh my goodness, More Molly. Opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Cosworth, we found you a girlfriend. What? What? Employment benefits include competitive salary, health coverage, accidental death coverage, and two weeks paid vacation. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure. The world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? <laughs> Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one, do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? <laughs> yes. Yes. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of researcher. <laughs> Expect a bright future in polymer research. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Orientation. The orientation is intended to provide the new employee with a history of the company to enrich their working experience. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Yes, I, I do. Yes, I do. Sure. Why not? Wonderful. I'm just going to be upfront with you guys. I don't have any experience with polymer synthesis. That was a lie. <laughs> I lied on my resume. What are we going to do? <laughs> Uh, oh. Please find an open seat and we will begin the presentation. I I guess I'll sit up front with the potato chips. Sounds good to me. The genesis of Cambridge Polymer Labs lies in the research of a group of brilliant graduate students. John Elwood, Erica Woolham, and Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them at their graduation. Um, sweetie, I think your slide machine is broken. the attention of Colonel George Cameron in the fall of 2073. In the spring of 2074, the company was founded with a generous grant provided by the Defense Experimental Research Project Initiative. The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime Project. Oh, wow, no way! Successful defense of Anchorage. No way! enjoys a strong relationship with the military and welcomes your addition to the research team that helps build a better America. Oh my America. gosh, Liberty Thanks Prime is like my role model. So He's like the man I wish I could be. Are provided for employees. Dude, this, this is so cool. I can't believe we're an official employee here. Kind of. We even get free drinks. Cool. So this is uh, this is where he came from, or this is where some of his components came from? Man, I freaking love Liberty Prime. Ooh, are these the free drinks? Thanks for the free drinks. One of them was even a quantum. Okay, Molly, where are we heading, honey? I'm kind of expecting things to go Here's south at any lab moment. Coat and clipboard. Oh. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I'm actually gonna wear it. I'm actually gonna do it. Boom. And you know what? While we're in here, I think I probably will slap on this uh 
chest piece. And I 100% I read it as prisoner's chest piece, but it's actually poisoner's chest piece. And suddenly that makes a, a lot more sense. So can I not wear that over my lab coat? I guess I can't. Well, let's see how incredibly cute we are. Thank you for your attention. Welcome to the team. Okay, thanks, Molly. So what am I doing? What do I do, girl? Please enter the clean room. Okay. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Ooh. Complete the research project. Until the Fitzgerald Clay lining project has been completed. Oh no, dang. The project lead, Dr. Elwood Wolla, for specific research assignment. I'm not sure I can do that, Molly. Contamination detected. Initiating decontamination sequence. Uh, should I be worried about how oh, that? Oh, wow, that's a lot of rads. And uh, I'm not sure that you did successfully decontaminate me with that. I gotta say. Well, uh, I might have got us into a little bit of trouble here, guys. And it's decontaminating again. Contamination detected. Initiating decontamination sequence. Okay, it's just gonna keep doing that, isn't it? Well, hello, I was told to report to you for my assignments, sir. Um, not, not really convinced that he's gonna be helping me. Okay, okay. Well, there is a terminal out here. There was one in the clean room as well, but I think they are probably the same. So this says security lockdown in effect. Some system functions may be unavailable at this time. Well, let's open the interior clean room door. Okay, cannot do it because of the security lockdown. What about the other door? Exterior? Absolutely not. Okay, that's that's basically what I expected, but it's a good thing for us. There's a hole in the wall. Okay, so we're not supposed to leave until our work is done. Um, here I am, working here. And here is Erica's terminal, so let's go ahead and check that out. Whoa, I heard it. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Where is it? Don't get slappy with me, young man. I think Codsworth's probably got it. Are they behind me? Are they above me? Oh, such a fire. Such a that one's away. Okay, that woke the rest of them up. Oh, sorry, Cosworth. I was going for these guys. He was diving at you. You can't blame me for missing. I still hear somebody being slappy. I think he's upstairs. Whoa, hi. Prefer not. We are getting irradiated some, probably just from the ghouls. What is this? Unidentified sample 11317. That's mine now. Bet we can put this in the machine and do something with it. Let's check this terminal now that the slapping is done. Impressive. Okay. Nucleo Strictive Lining Project. What is this? Let's read the project thesis. Initial studies have led us to hypothesize that by taking a known piezoelectric material, lead, zirconium, titanite, and properly applying a polymer of gold and lithium hydride, that a localized conversion of ionizing radiation to electrical energy may be achieved. This method of compact energy harvest may prove suitable for application to pre-existing power armor currently in use by the United States Armed Forces. From Dr. Erica Elwood Woolam, engineer. Cool. Well, Department of Engineering, I suppose is what that was meant to be. So this is thermal dissipation. What is that? Initial tests have proved that the methodology is sound. Radioactive energy harvest is 15 times higher than current automotive fusion engines. Unfortunately, there are still problems that we need to overcome. The ionic excitation in the gold that produces the harvestable electrons 
also creates a buildup of thermal waste. The heat is not substantial from a macro perspective, but due to the low shear modules, the gold suspension in the nano weave starts to break down quickly under extended use. We are going to attempt to change the dosing pattern on the gold to produce thinner strands through the material. The increased surface area should help dissipate the thermal energy much like a heat sink. That's neat. And then tensile strain. The new dosing patterns have been successful at dissipating the heat generated by the reaction. We've taken a slight hit to the harvest efficiency, but extended the static material lifetime from a matter of days to several years. While this is, from our perspective, already a successful experiment, the project parameters require a flexible lining that can be applied to power armor. It seems we underestimated the tensile strain the armor produces and the thinner gold weave in the material ends up shredding, so to speak, under the heavy use. Colonel Kemp was less than pleased and threatened to pull the funding if we cannot produce the promised results. So we need to go back to the thicker weave and then find a different way to solve the thermal dissipation issue. I wonder if they got all of that figured out or not. Trapped. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We've been trapped in the lab for days now and tensions are running high. The team is fractured and falling apart. They don't know what is going on outside and they've started to make attempts to escape the lab. And while I was sleeping, they managed to cut a hole through the thinner interior wall of the clean room. But I have been unable to break through the hardened outer wall. Will started talking with some of the others about going at the problem from a more oblique angle, which got me to thinking about the thermal dissipation problem, and then it dawned on me. If we change the dosing pattern so that it isn't producing nano holes perpendicular to the surface, but instead at an angle, we may be able to reflect the most direct radioactive particles and... Trap only those coming in at an oblique angle to the material. We would achieve a lower energy harvest, but the heat dissipation issues might be solved. Tom, Mary, and I are going to gather the samples needed to try it. So do I need to do that? Am I going to need to do this? We were so close. We've been unable to gather the samples needed to try the new dosing pattern. Will has locked himself in one of the labs and has been attempting to hack into the administrative systems. When we tried to get the U238 we needed from the isotope containment, he locked it down, leaving Mary stranded inside. He said that he's going to set the facility's defense systems so that it looks like the lab has been breached. This will unlock the clean room, but it will also activate the automated defenses, which will then see us as attackers. He means to fight his way out, but that's suicide. He's the only one in the lab with military training, and we don't even have real weapons. I've tried to tell him that we can complete the project, that we have the answer now, but he refuses to see reason and doesn't believe John will actually let us out. We've managed to pull down part of the ceiling in C1, which will get us into the utility crawl space. It can't get us out, but it should be able to get us above the lab. Will has barricaded himself in. I don't like it, but we have to get the drop on him. Okay, some serious drama was going on in this workplace. Is there anything else in this terminal we may want to check? The internal mail relay. So these are going to be letters that she sent with her coworkers, I suppose. Okay, so here is one from Bergman. I'm getting us out. Yeah, so this is Will. I'm not letting John play tyrant any longer. The isotope containment is leaking and he still won't let us out. I've gotten through his updated security subroutines and it's only a matter of time until I get control of the facility's defenses. He's so busy trying to keep me out of the clean room controls. He probably hasn't realized that by triggering a facility breach sweep, all the doors will open and allow the robots access. We're fighting our way out and then I'll deal with your husband. From Will. Her husband. Okay, interesting. Here's one from John Elwood. Oh, shoot. Elwood Woolam. Husband. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, well, here's a confidential letter from husband. Eric 
Erica, I've sent an explanation to the team, but I need you to know what is actually going on. Please do not share this with anyone else. It may start a panic. This morning, I got a call from Colonel Kemp, and he told me to keep our team in the lab. But before I could ask, he hung up. The sound you heard outside was an atomic bomb going off. It seems to have hit southwest of the city. The phone lines have been jammed, but I found a way to reach Kemp's liaison, and he informed me that they could only afford a detail to escort us to safety if we have vital military assets or intelligence. That is why I need you to get the project finished. Creepy. Okay, mandatory overtime. Good morning, everyone. I know you've all been here overnight and that everyone is tired, but I need everyone to push through just a little longer. Dr. Elwood Woolam has said that you are very close to cracking the problem with the nucleostrictive lining project. And I have a good feeling that today will be the day, along with our normal snacks. I've sent a runner to Slocum Joe's for coffee and donuts. We'll be ordering Spuckies later this afternoon. I also just got off the phone with Colonel Kemp and he said there may be some training exercises happening around town today. So if you hear what sounds like tanks or gunfire, don't panic. It's just a drill. Wow. Talk about working under pressure, huh? Okay. Well, that's all we can learn from this. Atomics back in the day, but still, the boss is too shabby. Okay, I see... I see... Cords. So I am going to need to figure out how to put in uh, the correct isotopes in this to solve this lining project in order for uh, John's systems to let me out, huh? So yeah, this is the polymer coating applicator. Device status, system error, isotope reservoir is below minimum levels. Device unusual at this time. Left reagent input, none. Right reagent input, unidentified sample, 11317. Current operations, executable, nucleostrictive lining project, version 0.9.4. Okay, so we can scan the loaded reagents, which we probably will need to do because I want this unidentified sample to be identified. We can check fabric parameters, which is probably where I'm going to need to set the angle to be different. And then we can load the fabrication routine. And I'm kind of expecting that at the end of this, we should have some really cool material created that maybe we can use uh, to upgrade power armor or our armor or something. This is so cool. Let's scan what we've got. Maybe it can tell us what the unidentified one is. Hydrochloric acid. Okay, thank you so much. So that's hydrochloric acid right there. Oh, wow, the name changed. Look, wow, guys. Oh, it's so cool. I dig it. Okay, this is gonna be really fun. So they said they pulled the ceiling down in C1. So there's C3, there's C1. So that's where we can go to get up even further. Uh, huh, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with more ghouls in here. But I think we can do it. I really think we can do it. Here is another unknown sample. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it in the analyzer thingy. Oh, a feather duster. Codsworth, would you like this? Here you go, baby. Hey, mom. Enjoy. All right. That ghoul having a baby rattle is just kind of unsettling. So this is where he locked himself. Was this where he locked himself in? No, it's it's probably not that. Because they said they need to. Oh wow, look at that. That's radioactive for sure. They said they needed to go up to get the drop on him. So this is C1. This is where they've pulled the ceiling down. 
And I kind of want to read more terminals and look around a little bit more. There's a bone cutter there. There's just all kinds of stuff. Hello. Goodbye. Do I have enough steel to make any caltrips, I wonder? I don't believe I've uh, acquired very much steel from last time. But I guess I can check it out. Let's go down to traps. Cal drops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good. Look at me. I'm like a proper scientist making caltrips. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. Hello. Have you fallen? I'll help you. Oh, I can't help you. You won't fit out from under the desk. I was going to try to put you back in your chair. I guess you just live down there. Sorry for that. Well, actually, I could do this. And then we can go to junk. How how sad is that? You know, how, how sad is that to have your rib cage and spine classified as junk? Well, then I can drop it. And there you go. Right back to work. Just another day at the office. See, this guy knows what's up. He has sunglasses. Oh, dear. Don't freak out. And an unidentified sample. Oh, dear. Oh, no. He put rat poison in his tea. Honey, no. Honey, don't. This poor guy. He left a suicide note here. This is the saddest. Everyone else who left tried to get into Bergman's lab to get the password for the isotope containment, but he rigged up some kind of gun. Erica was killed. Most of my hair is gone from the radiation. I can barely see. There's no way I can finish the research on my own. So I've chosen to make it a quicker end. Oh. John Elwood. See you in hell. Tom Franklin. Sorry, Tom. Um. Poor Tom! Okay. Rat Poison's, like, not, not the it move, either. Ugh. Okay. I don't know. I kind of think that the gunshot thing would have been better. Well, this looks highly dangerous. Is this Erica? Man. Hey, bud. Wow. <laughs> okay. I guess that's the thing, huh? I guess that's the thing. Oh, I'm going to have to redo this. Okay, guys. Uh, we'll end it here for today. And uh, I'll see you back where we were next time. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for watching as always. I guess I'll do an application. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. I love you. Bye.